regarding our Star Trek. So today's class, we are looking at JavaScript objects. JavaScript objects. Now, before now, we've looked at different data types. We've looked at sync, right? We've looked at number. We've looked at boolean. We've looked at these data types. Now, today we are looking at a data type that allows collection, that is used for collection of things. Now, let's say I have a variable. This is a variable. And inside this variable, I'm saving a single number, 7. So, presently, I can't save two items in this variable. I can only save one item. But the data type we're about to look at tonight allows you to save multiple items, multiple things in that container. A string can only take one, one uh, item at a time. It's same with the number, same with the boolean. But the object we're about to look at allows you to save multiple items. Like you can save a lot of things inside an object, not just one, unlike the ones we've considered so far. So to create an object, let's say I have something called WJ. So you use curly braces to save an object. Curly braces. Inside these curly braces now, you can now keep your items there. Please, are we following me? Yes, sir. Okay. Any questions so far? Any questions, sir? Okay, so inside an object, you can save your items there. And like I said earlier, you can save more than one item. You can save multiple items there. So whenever you want to save an item in an object, you need to supply a key. A key and a value. You supply a key and a value. So you use an object to save information about an entity information about an entity for instance uh okay let me let's say i want to save information about myself label myself in custody so everything about myself i want to save it inside this object so you add you put a key and a value so i'm saying that for this myself Create a key called name, and the value of that key should be Taye. Create another key called department, and the value of that key should be software. So you have a key and a value. The key and the value, each key and the value, is separated from uh, each other using a colon. This is a key, colon, the value of that key, comma. Then another key, colon, the value of that key. So each each key value pair is separated from the next key value pair using a comma. So this is one key value pair, a key and a value. This is a pair, then comma, then another key and a value. If I want to add another one, then there will be another comma here again, then I can add another one. Any questions so far? Shani Berry. This is okay. Yes, sir. Are you following me, ma? Yes, sir. I didn't want to keep you. Ma? No. I'm following you, sir. Thank you. So, each key and a value here. This is a key and a value. This is a key and a value. So, whenever you want to retrieve an item in an object, you mentioned the name of the object. In this case, the name of this object is myself. So I can say console log myself. Then if I want to see the name, I will say dot name. So in this case now, myself dot name, this will display tie. This will display tie. So let's save it and run it and go. Over. 
So let's go to the console. Why am I having okay? Can you see the tire? Can you see the tire? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. So, if I want to display the, if I want to see software in the console, what do you think I would do? If I want to see this software, what do you think I would do? Console. Depth. D. Console log. D. Begin depth. Department. Like this. Yes. Is not showing the patterns is not defined. Why do you think I would do that? Based on what I explained. Ma? Hello, ma. Hello, Sam. Yes, sir. It's not. It's not giving us software. Instead, it's throwing an error. What do you think we would do? Okay. Now this is your object name first. The name of my object is myself. I will now say dot dept. Do you get it, man? Do you understand this, man? Yes. Yes, man. Do you understand this, man? Yes. Hello, I can hear you, man. Please, can you hear me? Please, can you hear me? Oh. I can hear you, sir. Okay. So, back to what I was explaining. You have the object name, dot the property you want there. I can hear you, man. The object name, this is object myself. Then you can now extract the property you want. Any question on that? So if I want to see this 12, what do you think I will do? Mrs. Zonka? Mrs. Zonka? Okay, Mr. Gwaliba, welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. So before your arrival, let me quickly discuss what we need. Let me summarize what we've done so far. An object, you're welcome, sir. An object is a container that can be used to store multiple values. So whenever you want to store an item in an object, you store it in key value pair. A key and a value. A key and a value. A key and a value. Now, of course, an object is depicted with curly braces. Yes. So inside the curly you can now store your key value, a key and a value. Each key value pair is separated from the next key value pair using a comma. So this is a key value pair and a comma. I'm using it to separate the next one. So in each key value pair separate from the next key value pair is in a comma. And if you want to display the items in an object, first is you mention the object's name. The name of this object is myself. So I can come here and say myself. Then the name, the property I want inside it. If I want to show the, if I want to show the software, it now becomes myself dot department like this. Do you understand it? Any questions so far? No question. Okay. So now here's my question for you. 
If I want to see tire, what will I type? Myself that name. Good. Thank you, sir. Let's move on. Now, when you are storing items in an object, there are two types of items you can store. First is uh, properties. Second is methods. So properties are characteristics of an object. So for instance, these are properties of this object. They are characteristics of this object. Name, this is my name of myself. This is the partner of myself. This is age of myself. So these are characteristics of the object. Properties are characteristics. Next is methods. Methods are what an object can do or what you can do on an object. I come again. Methods are what an object can do or what you can do on an object. Uh, a simpler way to look at it is that just see it as, see methods as, as functions. They are just functions. When you put a function inside an object, then it becomes a method. Do you understand it? So when you put a function inside an object, it becomes a method. Now it means that that method, when you that method of an object now, is what the object can do or what you can do on the object. For instance, um, I can I can let's say sleep. So I can have a method called sleep since I can sleep like this. You see, this is just a function inside an object, right? Let me make it neater so that it becomes easier to understand. Sir, please, that sleep, is it a method in JavaScript? No, you can add any method of your choice. Whatever okay. you want. Just see it as a function, you know? Your function can be any name, okay, I believe. Yes. Okay, okay, so, yeah. when you put a function inside an object, what you are saying is that you want this object now to be able to sleep, to be able to have this method. Do you get it? Yeah. Okay. So I can say that whenever you call on this, I want you to console log. Maybe I sleep for twelve hours. I. So next is I want us to call on this function. So to call on this function, I'll say myself. Dot sleep. But because it's a method, it's not just a property. You put parentheses at the front, just same way you call on functions. You know, whenever you are calling on functions, you put parentheses at the front, right? We can, we can, we can just call that sleep alone. Sleep then parentheses one. You said? We cannot just, we cannot just call that sleep alone. That sleep then parentheses front of it. No, because there is no function. If you assume you are calling on a function here. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So you put the object name. And the method you want to call on the object, then parenthesis in front of it. So let's go to the terminal, uh, to the browser, and uh, see the results. So I have this. I sleep for twelve hours. Let's move on. So let's see. I you can. This can also be a parameterized uh, function. You can add parameter here. So let's say I pass it. So I can say pass. So I can instead of saying as if for haters, I can say so this becomes I sleep for this becomes I sleep for eight hours. Do you understand this? This is to be sent as the value of these hours and it becomes this I sleep for eight hours. So I can determine I sleep for eight hours. I can put space there. You can also say myself does sleep. Let's say button. So this second one is going to print out I sleep for button hours. Simple as that. So when you have an object, you can either have properties inside the object or you have methods. Methods are functions inside an object, and it means that they are those things that objects can do 
or what you can do on the objects. Next time. So maybe let's get a global variable. I can say, uh, let's say uh, my surname. So let's say, uh, of course, my surname is Abidako. So where the surname equals to this. So I want to do something like this. Abidako sleeps for uh, maybe eight hours, something like that. So now saying I now, I want to write Abidakun. That becomes Sunny. Slips for it has. Hope you are getting it. Okay. okay. So I can now say myself dot sleep. I pass the R there. So this is going to log out. I'll be that for eight hours. Be that for eight hours. Next, I want to display Taye Abidakon sleeps for eight hours. This name with this surname. So I can come here and say name plus surname. So this is Taye Abidakon. Let me put space between them. Taye Abidakon sleeps for eight hours. But I still tend to realize now. Hmm, what's going on? Why is he not putting the name there? Remember? Uh, I wanted to ask you that. Okay. I wanted to ask that. I'm not supposed to put myself the back of that name. But yes. Okay, good. Myself, then yes. put the dots there. Good. So, myself dot name. So, this is going to stay a bit of a slip. So, let's move on. So, instead of, you know, we are currently inside myself, right? This sleep method is inside myself, right? Yes. And inside this, we want to call on myself also. Here, you are saying myself dot name. Instead of repeating myself here, you can use a keyword called this. This. What happens this. is this? Yes, this. To understand how this works, this has different ways of working in JavaScript. But one of the most common way, one of the ways it works is this. I, I love using, using an example. Let's assume I'm inside a house, or let's say I'm in a city room, and yes. there's a car parked at the front of that city room, like outside the city room. Outside. Yes. Yeah. There's a car parked outside. Now. There are chairs inside the city room and there are also chairs inside the car. So if I'm inside the city room and I say these chairs are dirty, which chairs am I referring to? Both chairs. Uh, both the, the chairs in the city room and the cars. No. If I say these chairs are dirty, if I'm inside the city I room, I'm in the city room, yes. And you are talking about chairs in the city room. Good. If I'm inside the car and I say these chairs are dirty, which which chairs am I referring to? The chairs in the car. That's the way it works here. Yeah. When I'm inside a method and I call on this, yes. this refers to the parent of that method. Okay. So I'm inside this method. So when I call on this here, if I say console like this, So this here will refer to the parent of the method, which is myself. So this yeah. refers to myself. So instead of saying myself, I can easily use this. Please, let's take the console for, for that, this, please. Okay. Yes. Okay. It brings all the, it brings the updates. Yes. Okay. So here we have, instead of saying this now, uh, instead of saying myself, you cannot easily replace it with this this the property name you want. Let's move on. Let's add another method. I can say um maybe first is so I'm changing this method to set sleep and I want to solve turn this a short sleep. The method can be anything I want, anything I want. So, 
Ce stați? S-a prins caducări functionii de tot. Ce stați? Can you call on the fun on the function inside the method? Mm-mm. Can we call the function a method? Yes, functions are actually methods. Because it's just printed and printed. Yes, they're actually methods, but it's best to call them their names. Methods, not functions. When a function is inside an object, it becomes a method. It's no longer a function. Or you don't you don't call it a function. Function stands alone. Is that? What if function stands alone? Is a function in that case. But when it's inside a method. Ah, when inside an object, you call okay, it its okay. name. Yes, okay. call it its okay. name. It's a method. So I can say this that as if I still pass. Then I can now say console I sleep for this that as as. Okay. So I'll say shortly. If I call on this, what do you think I'll say? But for now, let's remove this. Let's change it to this. Okay. So if I call on this, what do you think I'll say? Hello. Sorry, I know only like. Okay. Yeah, if I call on this, what do you think I'll say? I sleep for only find us. Perfect. Because no, here I'm inside show sleep. Yes. I try to access this dot as. Unfortunately, there is no has here. Right. Yes. Yes. yes so it will yes. be able to access it. Yes. So this gives I sleep for undefined as. Yes. You have this. But let's assume I first called on this set sleep. By first calling on this, this one we do whatever is here. That is to set the hours to six. This is like saying hours is six. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So it's like it's something similar to this. So this this we set the hours to six. So that when I call on show sleep, it now displays this. I sleep for six hours. Any questions, sir? So please run this code on the browser. Why is not bringing the the first uh, the first function that we call? We are not displaying anything inside the first function. We are only oh, set oh, 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 oh. So because we call it that, this is why the six represented the this hours. Yes. Remember, here we are setting it. If these are just let's assume this here is like this, you won't be able to use it. Here. Because this hours will just be a local variable to this function. Let's assume it's like this. It will just be a local variable to this function that you will not be able to use outside this function. Do you understand it? So that this stands as myself. Global. It's like saying, no. What you are doing is you are saying myself. What this is what you are doing. Myself dot as equals to 6. So you are putting 6 here. It's like you coming here to say as is 6. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. So instead of saying myself dot as, we can also say this dot yes, as. So that makes it possible for you to make it work. Question. 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 Now let's stop here tonight. Okay. Huh? What did you say? I let's stop here tonight. Assignment. Okay. So you want to build an alarm clock for me? 
Yeah, alarm. Yes, alarm clock. So this is what you're okay. going to do. Okay. Number one, if I will be setting an alarm, I should be seeing the present time. So on the screen, display the present time for me, the current time. You can do that using what we call the date object. The date is an inbuilt object. It's, in the only, it's, it's only the current time that I want to see on the DOM. No, I'm I'm for, okay. I'm still describing it. First, okay, if I'm okay, going okay. to be setting an alarm, I should see the current time. So you can do that using this date uh, objects in JavaScript. So I should see the current hour, the current minute, and the current second, counting up. 21, 22, 23, 24, and all of that. Now, next is, there should not be an interface for me to set the time, my alarm. So, let's say I want to set my alarm, to, this is currently 8.51. If I want to set my alarm to 9, I should be able to enter it. Maybe it can be a select, it can be, I don't know, the one you want to use. So, I should be able to select the time I want to, and I click on the button, set time. Immediately the time I set, immediately it's the same as immediately the current time is the same as the time I set, then you should start playing a song. I come again. Immediately the time I set is the same as the current time, then it should start playing a song. So you want to build an alarm clock. Number one, you display the current time on the screen, the hours, the minutes, and the seconds. Then you display uh, an interface. The interface will allow me to be able to set the hours, the minutes, and the seconds. Once the three of them are the same with the current time, of course, I will set the three and I click on the button, maybe set time. Once they are the same, then you start playing, it start playing a song. The time, the date, and the year. The, no, we are not setting days here. We are only dealing with hours, minutes, and seconds. Okay, okay. So, I come again on the screen. I will see the present hour. This is 8 now. I will see 8.53, then the seconds. Of course, the seconds should be counting up. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and all like that. Are you, seeing, are you seeing the time when you don't know that? You said? Are you seeing the time when you don't know that? No, I'm saying that's what you will do for me. Okay, okay. Okay. So, the time will be counting up on the screen here. I'll be seeing the time. Then there will be an interface to set the hours, the minutes, and the seconds. Then a button, when I click on that button, you will set you will set your alarm. So when the time I set is the same as the current time, then you should start playing a song. Do you get it? Okay. Okay. Then of course there should be a button to stop the song. When I click on that stop button, this the song should stop. Let's uh, when you are done with that, we see what we need to add to the alarm. But let's first do that before the next class. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. Uh, good night, sir. Yes.